I am Matt Welch with Nick Gillespie. We're on Ask a Libertarian Day 2012 to mark the paperback publication of the Declaration of Independence, which we co-wrote together. Uh, we are uh, taking your questions. The next one comes by email. Mark Drawn, a.k.a. Windy Pundit. Where are the black people, Mark writes, or any other minorities? When I saw you guys at the book signing in Chicago, a city that hasn't been majority white for some time, I could only see one non-white person in the room. And I think he was the rep from the bookstore. Why do so few minorities identify themselves as libertarians, and what can we do about it? Sounds like a question for Nick. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a fair question. Political movements uh, tend, uh, or the libertarian political movement sociologically has been mostly white, mostly male. Uh, the country is no longer mostly male or mostly white. Uh, if the libertarian moment is really going to be upon us and stay, we need to reach out to all sorts of people. I think that we are uh, gathering more steam among minorities. You see this in terms of ethnic and racial minorities, partly because a lot of the issues we deal with, whether it's things like uh, war uh, policy and soldiering and bombing countries indiscriminately in the third world, drug policy and its effects on uh, ethnic and uh, racial minorities in America, or what have you, uh, we're starting to move in that area. But we need to actually make sure that we're reaching all of the people who would benefit from our libertarian prescriptions. I'm going to make a strange analogy here, uh, which is the expansion of NATO. Bear with me here for a second. A lot of people, especially libertarians, I would say, didn't really understand why Poland and the Czech Republic and other people wanted to join NATO. Well, they did because they've known what it's like when people with more power than them live near them and make the rules. And so they wanted a guarantee of their safety. I think the most persecuted historically of American citizens will go towards a large organization that says explicitly, we are going to protect you from the other guys. And I think that's what has happened in American politics with African Americans since the great sort of realignment in the 1960s. And third parties in general, this isn't just the Libertarian Party, this is the Green Party. I covered Ralph Nader in 2000. There wasn't a black person in the audience and you'd go to A. St. Louis, you know. Um, it's the same thing. Why, what power Power do you are you going to bring as a third party to help protect my interests? It's a tough sell. It's an intellectual sell, and I think you're going to see a lot more crossover as people talk about not necessarily how are you going to win this election, but how are you going to reshape this policy in particular that predominantly or disproportionately affects certain communities. We see this with the opposition to the stop and frisk program in New York and across a bunch of different other lines. So I think it's going to be on an issue by issue basis much more than on a major party power politics basis. Uh, that's Ask a Libertarian 2012. We'll be back in a few minutes.